Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. Today we are going to dive into how to record video with OBS Studio and capture all your keyboard inputs. By the way, I have also written a detailed blog post about these very topics. You can navigate to my website and then search for OBS Studio. Let's take a look at it now. As you can see, I have laid out all the steps thoroughly. So first, you will need to install OBS Studio. I have already installed it on my system, so I'm going to skip the part. I have already added the link here, so you can download from here and install it on your system. Next, we need to download the input of all the plugin. Here's the link. Let's click on it. Now click on the go to download button. This will take us to GitHub page. Let's scroll down a bit. In the asset section, we need to download two files. One is the input overlay preset, which is a zip file. And the other is input overlay Windows installer. Make sure you choose the right version for your Windows. It can be either the 64-bit version or the regular version. And if you are using Linux or Mac, you can download the Debian package. Okay, you can see I have downloaded both of the files. Let's check the next step in the blog post. The next step is to install the plugin. We'll use the installer, we just download it, just run it and you don't have to do anything special here. Just follow the on-screen instruction and complete the installation. Once that is done, we can move on to the next step, which is extracting the zip file. And as you can see in my blog post, it is really important to remember where you extracted these files because we'll need this location in the next step. All right, let's move on to the next step where we'll configure some setting inside the OBS Studio. First, open the OBS Studio. Now we need to add a new source. So we can do this by click on the plus button in the sources panel. According to my blog post, we need to select browser as the source. In the browser setting, we need to check the local file checkbox. Now, we need to select the input history windows.html file according to my blog post, which is located on the extracted folder that we extracted earlier. So let's click on the browse and find the file. All right, as you can see in the blog post, I have included a screenshot of all the settings and I have highlighted the important parts in the red boxes. So looking at the screenshot, we need to change the height from 600 to 300, I guess. There aren't any other settings we need to change in the browser source. So I'll just click OK. Next, according to my blog post, we need to go to Tools and then select Input Overlay Settings. I've also included the correct setting for the Input Overlay configuration in my blog post too. Let's go through that screenshot. First, check the setting in the local feature tab and then move on to the WebSocket server tab. Here, we need to enable forward and receive even through WebSocket server with address. Let's, let's activate this. Now, you can click OK. On the next step on my blog post, I recommended to restart OBS Studio. So, let's close the OBS Studio and then open it again. When OBS Studio restarts, Windows might ask for permission because we enable the WebSocket server option. Make sure you allow it and you can see our input capture is working. Now I can type anything on the keyboard and it will display on the video screen. It will also capture my mouse events too. So that is how you can record keyboard and mouse input using OBS Studio. I hope all the confusion are cleared now. So that's all for today. Thank you for staying with me and keep recording awesome content and good night.